So I wanted to share something with you guys that I learned recently. I've read about it, but I didn't actually try it. And I'm glad I did because it uh, makes a big difference when you're uh, vaping the spice, the DMTs. So um, most of us using something like this, standard oil cartridge and a pen, right? Um, they work, right? Pen, you know, if you get a quality one, set it to around, I don't know, 3.84 volts. And your ratio is like a one to one part, you know, one oil, one DMT. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'll definitely get it, you know, I mean, uh, no doubt about that. But it's nowhere near as good as if you go and you get your separate vape mod, which I don't have available. Well, I got, yeah, actually I do. You get yourself something like this, right? A box mod that's adjustable. Let's get the camera, yeah. So it's adjustable and you want to set it to about 30 to 40 watts. Okay, 30 to 40 watts. Any, any higher is a waste. Um, thir at least 30. I just, 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 let's just say 40 because this is what I've, I'd use and it works great. So 40 watts, but the trick is you want a sub-ohm coil. You can get a tank if you want, or you can get the mods that have it built in like a pod. Um, so long as it's a sub-ohm coil, that's the important part. A sub-ohm coil is just, you know, the, the resistance is like below 1 ohm, so it's like a 0 0.4 is what I use, a 0 0.4 coil, sub-ohm coil. I don't know how much you love about vaping, so... I might be, you know, a little off of my terminology here, but yeah. So sub ohm coil. Um, I actually broke my my little uh, tank. So, but yeah, I have a tank and a sub ohm coil, and man, I tell you what, it was so strong. You know, even one hit uh, was like way too strong. So I dilute it to uh, like if you're using the one to one ratio, it's too strong. You want to dilute it to a one to four ratio. One to four ratio, you can still blast off in like one big hit. Which is perfect, so I can take like a half hit and not like be like, you know, sent to the moon and talk to aliens and shit. So uh, yeah, definitely get yourself a mod. I guess it can be adjustable. Um, this one is, I also have one that's a fixed one that's a 40 watts. Just so make sure you keep it, if it's a fixed one, make sure you keep it fully charged. Actually, make sure you keep both of them fully charged. Because they don't work right if they're not, you know, full power. 40 watts, sub ohm coil. Mix your uh, spice to oil ratio at a one part to four. One part spice, four parts oil. And uh, yeah, it's the way to go. It does go through oil a little bit faster. But so basically what it's doing is, I think anyway, um, a sub ohm coil will get you the bigger clouds or stuff. I think it just burns more at the same time. So it's basically like getting like three or four hits out of this at the same time. You know, I'm pretty sure that's all it really does. I'm not positive. I'm not a vapor really. I don't vape, you know, juice oil by itself. So not tip, not regularly. So, uh, but yep. Enjoy and uh, yeah, definitely mix it to a one to four. I, I mixed it to a one to two the first time because I didn't. I thought one to four was gonna be too weak. I still had to cut it down to one to four. So yeah, the guy who wrote the form was absolutely correct. It's one to four ratio.